Hello students, this is Anke Thukral from IGPD Award. Today I am going to talk on business finance and various sources of business finance. Students, let me tell you that every business, whether big or small, needs finance to carry on its operations. The importance of finance has increased tremendously these days because of mass production and use of capital intensive techniques. As a result, finance is also considered as the lifeblood of any business. Finance plays very important role in all type of businesses. It may be a small one or it may be a big company. If you want to grow the business, finance is required. If you want to start the business, finance is required. Expansion is required. Finance is required. That's why we call it a finance as a lifeblood of any business. Now let us go ahead. Let me tell you what is the importance or what is the significance of business finance. Business finance is required for the establishment of every business organization. With the growth in activities, financial needs also grow. Funds are required for purchase of land buildings, machinery and other fixed assets. Besides this, Money is also needed to meet day-to-day -day expenses like purchase of raw materials, payment of wages and salaries, payment of electricity bills, payment of telephone bills, etc. etc. You are aware that production continues in anticipation of demand. Production always go on and if you know the demand is always there. Expenses continues to be incurred until the goods are sold and money is recovered. So money is required to bridge the time gap between production and sales besides producers may be necessary to change the office setup in order to install computers also renovation of facilities can be taken up only when adequate funds are available further to meet contingencies to promote sales to avail of business opportunities for all these finance is required in business it may be a small one or it may be a big one now students let's Discuss on need for business finance. What is a need? Why the finance is required? For that, I may tell you that what is business finance? Business finance refers to the money required for carrying out business activities. So, in simple words, it is required for carrying out various type of activities. It is basically concerned with acquisition of funds, use of funds, and distribution of profits of business enterprise. Now, what is the need for business finance? Almost all business activities require some finance. Finance is needed to start and establish a business, to run day-to-day -day activities of a business like payment of raw material, salaries, etc. Further, to modernize, expand and diversify the businesses, business finance is required. Further, to purchase assets also. It may be a machinery, it may be a land or building, etc. And intangible assets like trademark, patent, etc. Hence. We can say that availability of adequate funds is very crucial for the survival and growth of business. The financial needs of a business can be classified into two categories. Number one is fixed capital requirement and second is working capital requirement. Let us discuss on fixed capital requirement very briefly. What is fixed capital? Fixed capital is the money invested in fixed assets. Fixed capital remains invested in the business for a long period of time. The fixed capital requirement differs depending on the nature of business as well as scale of operations, etc. For example, a manufacturing organization requires more fixed capital as compared to a trading concern. So, for any type of organization, maybe a trading concern or maybe a manufacturing organization or maybe an industry fixed capital is always required another is working capital requirement what is working capital working capital refers to that part of total capital which is required for holding current assets such as stocks bill receivables etc the working capital requirements vary in different business enterprises depending on various factors also Let's take an example. A business selling goods on credit requires more working capital as compared to a firm selling goods on cash. Working capital plays a very crucial role in the business. Let me tell you 
that the requirements for fixed and working capital increases with the growth and expansion of businesses. Therefore, it is important to evaluate the different sources of fund from where funds can be raised. Students, on sources of funds, in case of proprietary and partnership concerns, the funds may be raised either from personal sources or borrowings from banks, friends, etc. Whereas, in case of company form of organization, there are various different sources of business finance. But before going into the detail on sources of finance, let me tell you how we can classify into the sources of funds. How the sources of funds can be classified. Broadly, it can be classified on the basis of following three categories. Number one is period basis. Number two is ownership basis. And number three is sources of generation basis. Now let us discuss on first that is on period basis. On the basis of time period, the different sources of finance can be categorized into three parts. Number one is long term sources. Number two is medium time sources. Number three is short term sources. Now what is long term sources? It includes all those sources which are required by the business form for a period exceeding five years. For example, shares, debentures, long term borrowings and loans from financial institutions. The long term sources are generally required for acquiring fixed assets like plant, machinery, equipment, etc. Second is medium term sources. It includes all those sources which are required by the business for a period more than one year but less than five years. For example, borrowing from commercial bank, public deposits, lease financing and loans from financial institutions. Now, on period basis, third is short term sources. It includes all those sources which are required by the business for a period not exceeding one year. For example, trade credit, loans from commercial banks, commercial papers, etc. Short term finance is generally needed to finance current assets like accounts receivable, inventories, etc. After discussing on period basis, the second category is ownership basis. What is ownership basis? Let us further classify the ownership basis, how the funds are categorized. Number one is owner's funds, second is borrowed funds. Now let me tell you what are owner's funds. The funds provided by the owner of the business enterprise are known as owner's yeah. funds. For example, funds or capital provided by sole trader or partners or shareholders of a company. Owner's funds are permanent source of finance as they are not required to be refunded during the life period of business. Second category is borrowed funds. The funds raised through loans or borrowings are known as borrowed funds. So, in case of owner funds, funds are provided by the owner of a business enterprise, whereas in case of borrowed funds, funds raised through loans or borrowings are known as borrowed funds. For example, loans from commercial banks, loans from financial institutions, issue of debentures, public deposits and trade credits, etc. etc. So these sources provides funds for a specified period on certain terms and conditions and have to be repaid after the expiry of that period. So we have discussed on owner's funds and borrowed funds coming under the ownership basis. Next category of sources of finance is source of generation basis. On the basis of source of generation, the source can be classified into two categories. Number one is internal sources. Number second is external sources. What are internal sources? It includes all those sources which are generated from within the business. For example, retained earnings, funds from disposal of surplus inventory, etc. However, internal sources can fulfill only limited financial needs of the business. Every business is having retained earnings in its profit and loss account, which are used as a sources internally for any need or business requirements. Second is external sources. It includes all those sources that lie outside an organization. It is not from the internal sources. 
That's why it is called external sources. For example, issue of debentures, borrowings from commercial banks and financial institutions, and based on public deposits. External sources help to raise large amount of funds. However, they are costly as compared to internal sources. In some cases, assets are required to be mortgaged to obtain funds from external sources like issue of debentures by a company. Now students, since we have discussed on classification of sources of funds that is period basis, ownership basis and source of generation basis briefly. Now the ownership basis category is very important where it comes owner's funds and borrowed funds. We will discuss in detail on that but let me tell you today that what are the funds available under owner's funds. The following type of funds are coming under owner's funds. What are the sources of owner's funds? Number one is equity shares. What is equity shares? Equity shares are the most important source of raising long term capital by a company. Equity shares are those shares which do not carry any special or preferential rights in respect of payment of annual dividend and repayment of capital. The money raised by issue of equity shares is termed as equity share capital. The second category of source of owner's fund is preference shares. Preference shares are those shares which enjoys certain priorities regarding the payment of dividend at a fixed rate and return of the investment. The capital raised by issue of preference share is called preference share capital. This is the second source of owner's funds. Third category is retained earnings. Now what is retained earnings? When the organization or a company are having profits, some portion of the profits are kept under reserves and surpluses in balance sheets. So those reserves and surpluses are called retained earnings. So briefly, the entire earnings of a company are not distributed as dividends among the shareholders. So retained earnings refers to that part of profit which is kept as a reserve for use in future. Next category is GDR. GDR means Global Depository Receipts. GDR is an instrument issued abroad by a company to raise funds in some foreign currency and is listed and traded on a foreign stock exchange. Later on, we will discuss in detail what are the GDR, what are the features. The next category is ADRs. What is ADR? That means American Depository Receipts. The depository receipts issued by a company in the USA are known as American Depository Receipts. It is issued by non-US companies to the Americans in order to obtain foreign capital. ADR is similar to GDR except that ADRs can be issued only in America and is traded at American Stock Exchange. Next category is IDR. Now what is IDR? It is Interdepository Receipts. IDR is an instrument in the form of a depository receipts created by the Indian Depository in India against the underlying equity shares of the issuing company. What is important point about IDR? In an IDR, issuer is a foreign company which wishes to raise funds from the Indian market. Foreign companies issue shares to an Indian depository which would in turn issue depository receipts to investors in India that is called IDR. So students, these are all the sources coming under owner's funds. So today we have discussed on business finance, need of business finance, importance of business finance as well as classification of sources of funds that is on period basis, ownership basis and sources of generation basis. So today in this part we will wind up the things and next part we will cover in detail on sources of owner's fund as well as borrowed funds. So that's all today. Thank you. Bye-bye.